Welcome to this short video on backing up and restoring a Linux server with NetApp SnapProtect. The latest version of SnapProtect includes a new feature called SnapProtect for Open Systems. It adds support for non-NetApp, that is third-party storage, for SnapProtect version 10, release 4. And now we'll demonstrate this backup and restore on a Linux system. By the way, it happens to be a Red Hat system. The first step actually is to add a client into the client computer group, and we've already completed that task. Our first step is to create a storage policy, and here we're going to name it. And we'll click Next, and now we'll just accept the default values. Next, we'll modify the storage policy that we created, so we'll go into Properties, go to Snapshot, Enable Backup Copy. Select the storage policy. Then go to the primary snap. And specify a resource pool. We'll go ahead and create a subclient. As you can see, the Linux client is already added. We'll now select New Subclient. We're naming it Linux underscore backup. Browse to a mount point. And now we select the file system that we want to back up. Then select the storage policy that we created and click OK. And now we'll run the workflow. And when you select Job Controller, you can see the status of the backups. And you can see from the progress bar that the job, the backup, has completed. Now that we've backed up, we'll go ahead and do a restore. We'll show you what has been backed up. and we go out to the command line and show that we deleted those files. Now we'll go and we'll select the backed up file system, select recover all, we're going to select restore to the same folder, click OK and you can go to the job controller and see that the restore is running and you can see from the progress bar that everything is completed at 100 percent and we'll go back to the command line and see that the file has been restored and that's our demonstration we've showed how to use snap protect to back up and restore a Linux file system so thanks very much for listening in if you'd like to learn more about snap protect go to netapp.com and search for snap protect